Welcome to Vlognica, day one. Daniel J. Layton's here. That's who I am, and Vlognica is at a different time this year because Hanukkah goes on the lunar calendar. Like Easter. So to celebrate and kick off Vlognica, we are in Dan's kitchen. I got some Hanukkah cookie cutters. And I have a cookie recipe courtesy of our old friend, Nigella. They're incredibly festive chocolate chip cookies because we imbue them with the spirit of the holiday season. Is that what it says? No, I've just decided that that's how I'm going to appropriate these cookies for this time of year. I love it. I love these. These are really twee. I'll take you through them all, actually. Please do. This one, I'm assuming, is supposed to be the Hanukkah, but obviously because it's a cookie cutter, you can't what? like see all of the lines. I thought that was a menorah. A menorah has seven candles, one in the middle, three each side. The Hanukkah has nine, one in the middle, four each side. The Hanukkah is specifically for Hanukkah because of the whole eight nights thing, whereas the menorah is like the general oh, one no that way. is in all the synagogues and at homes and stuff. I nice stand. There's a candle one, there's a dreidel one, and then I think that's just meant to be a present for the is holiday it ha Hanukkah? season. Hanukkah? Hanukkah. Hanukkah. Ha Hanukkah. My name in Hebrew is Hannah. Tis a Jew name. <laughs> If I had been born avec lapinus genitalia, I would have been called Daniel. It's a good name. What are we doing? We're measuring sugar. We're measuring sugar because sugar goes in cookies. Right. I understand like cake recipes, like yeah. I got it. But cookies, I'm like, how is it different? I can't well, remember. Two different types of sugar, caster sugar and this sugar. This will add a sort of chewy fudginess. Also, we've got some mulled wine on the hob. The nights are drawing in, the sun is going away, Brexit is still happening. So it's 1pm and we're having wine. You can judge us if you want, but that's all on you. It smells great. This recipe requires fridge cold eggs. Now one does not need to keep eggs in the fridge and if you have seen my hugely successful baking program, Baking for Layton, you will know that I do not keep eggs in the fridge because when you keep them in the fridge, you have to let them warm up in order to cook them properly. They take on the smells of all the other fat that's in the fridge. But for this recipe, you need them to be cold so that the cookies keep their shape. I'm trying to figure out how you get into Hanukkah season. <laughs> I'm not actually home at all during really? the Hanukkah days this year. Tell me some traditional Hanukkah things. You eat a lot of fried food. Oh. Because it's about celebrating the oil lasting eight days. So if you want to deep fry these cookies afterwards. I mean, always. Will you please sing me a traditional Hanukkah song? Sevi von sof 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 Hanukkah uka sof Hanukkah uka sof Sevi von sof 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 la sof uka sof let's go haya sham sof 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 let's go haya sham that's the thing about a dreidel I think sof 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 is like spin 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 you could put a kiki beat under that and get a number one <laughs> what is kosher uh, no pork, can't have meat and milk, meat and dairy things in the same thing. And so, why is that? So ham and cheese. It's <laughs> a, bad, a bad idea. And no shellfish. I'm going to make this brighter. Every Jewish festival, the way that you're told to understand it is, they tried to kill us, we won, let's eat. So you light candles, you do prayers, and you eat food. Why don't we all do this? That sounds glorious. I'm That's really not nice. doing anything here. Beat that. Beat it? Beat it. Okay, beat not, it. No folding, beating. No. Hey. You make your own Hanukkah cookies. I encourage you to make strange noises too. <laughs> what do you do for Christmas? So I have no sort of set tradition. When my parents were also 16, we'd lived in the south and the rest of our family lived up north. So we'd always mm. sort of travel up north or we'd have it sort of low key down at home in Mayfair. But then because I moved, when I moved to London, couldn't go home for Christmas because everyone was back in Manchester and I couldn't travel because I had to work on Christmas Eve and Boxing Day. So I had to start staying at home. So this whole thing has happened where now I do have a tradition because I look after the stragglers. So any Americans who can't go home, my friend oh. is a Jehovah's Witness so his family don't celebrate Christmas. So this is the first year where I'm not working and I think I'll still probably stay home because I've come become so accustomed to hosting and I really uh, enjoy it. I have spent a couple of Christmases on my own. Which how is that? Actually fine. Oh, ooh. Fine. What was it? Flower. Oh, fine. I can't see over my boob. I mean, it looks fine. It's like nestled. The bowl, not. <laughs> the only thing I insist on is having four dreidels because there's obviously four sides to a dreidel so then we can decorate on each side. Cool. How thick? Uh, as thick as you like. Can take it. Happy holidays! Okay, how the fuck are we gonna shove it into this? Look, you got the things, I don't know. Also, look at <laughs> how fucking, like... That <laughs> looks like a candle. That looks like <laughs> a candle shape. I think you've done very well there. I'm gonna focus on 
one candle, so okay. then if you get at least three more dreidels. I'm gonna do the dreidels. Oh my god, it tastes so good. We're also doing a video on Dan's channel because Dan's doing Collabmus, but I don't know what we're doing yet. It's a surprise. Yeah, so my thing with Collabmus is that I want it to be as tenuous as possible to link to Christmas. Yeah. That's I have no idea how these are gonna turn out. Why did I pick chocolate chip? That looks like a great mess. We've got two Hanukkahs up here, we've got four candles, four dreidels, and then two presents. Here's what I'm worried about with that tray, is that the cookies will sort of spread. <laughs> oh no, one. these ones are so fucked. It's gonna be fine. Oh my god. Hanukkah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll see you when they are done. We're back. After taking a look in the oven, I think you're gonna need this. So here's mine. <laughs> These are the cookies. Look at them. Lovely and cookie shaped. How nice. Very good. And here are the shapes we tried to oh. make. Yeah. So, uh. Happy Hanukkah! Hey! This is salvageable. We got decorations. The candles so look a little bit work. like turds. Let's just ice the shit out of them and hope that it will be fine. Oh, is it good? I'm pretty good. Wanna try one? I mean, you can't really go wrong. A bit on the crunchy side, mm. but I'll, I'll live with that. Happy? Yeah. Oh, yeah. See, now, that, that is a candle. Obviously. I don't think I remember what presents look like. I won't lie to you. That looks like a Pokemon. Um, yeah? I am a fucking artist! That looks like a fly. Those are good. Yeah. They look like candles. How would I decorate a dreidel? We're gonna do that with the chocolate one. We're just gonna write the letters. D letters. R E. <laughs> I. There aren't enough. <laughs> yep. That was comedy. Um, and I'd like to tell you about comedy now. But really, it's up to you. I'm like really going to town on this uh, present. Rabbit. You are. Yours looks better than mine. Because I put more effort in. Um, excuse you. Look, this is my present. <laughs> I'm nearly done mine. I would love to receive this under the Christmas tree. I mean, oh, Hanukkah really? tree. Does Hanukkah have a tree? No. There's my one. Wait, I finished it now. That looks more like a present than it did. Massage the tube to ensure all the contents are liquid. If there are any hard pieces still, return to, and return to the hot water and com until completely melted. Well, I'm not sure how it's going to melt this. We know. Did I tell you the story of when I met Nigella? Why do I met Nigella? <laughs> <laughs> but when I got her to sign this book, because I'm like, this is my favourite cookbook ever, please will you sign it, please? I think you're great. She was like, of course I will, what's your name? And I went, Dan. And she goes, that's spelled in the traditional fashion. And she gave me the eye, and I was like, oh my god, <laughs> this is amazing. Do you know which celebrity chef I fancy? Can I guess? Oh yeah, sorry. Greg Wallace from Master Chef. Is he the bald one? Yeah. No. James Martin? None. Ainsley Harriet. <laughs> Gordon Ramsay. Got a little crush on Gordon Ramsay? Yeah. Is it his sort of aggression? I think he's got a great face. He's got a really interesting face. Mm. Me and Dan have been watching Hell's Kitchen. Have we? Yeah. <laughs> Me and you, my boyfriend. <laughs> I really get a kick out of that. <laughs> I find it really funny. I'm going to hold these in view of the camera while you squeeze. So the dreidel is like a gambling game for Jewish children. <laughs> <laughs> The idea is that everybody has some Hanukkah gelt. Take it in turns to spin the dreidel, and depending on what it lands on, that depends on how you interact with your pile of money and the pile of money in the middle. <laughs> the letters on each side of the dreidel are Nun, Gimel, Hay, and Shin. Nun, Gimel, Hay, Shin. Yes. And what they stand for is a sentence, Neskadol Hayasham. Neskadol Hayasham. Neskadol Hayasham means a great miracle happened there, i.e. Israel. If you get a dreidel in Israel, it's Neskadol Hayapo, a great miracle happened here. The letter that begins with Nes is Nun. Oh my God. That's See? a Nun. And then we're gonna do a Hay, and then Shin. There you go. Nun, Gimel, Hay, Shin. Neskadol Pommel horse. Hayasham. A great miracle happened on this very So Nesbitt al Hayapo would be a great miracle <laughs> happened here, like right here. That's beautiful! Thanks. This one's Dan's. Is this the thumbnail? Are we going for the, going in for the thumbnail? <laughs> Lovely. We've nailed it. I don't want to eat them now. No. Frame them. Keep them forever. Thank you for watching Vlognaka Day, Day One. one. <laughs> Join us for the Please content. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. And don't ever forget Gal Gadot Pommel Horse. Make sure you head over to Dan's channel because we're about to film a mysterious video that I have no idea what's happening. It's super low. Over there. And don't forget to subscribe because we've got eight days, eight days of, of content. Hanukkah. Make your own Hanukkah cookies yes, and, and share them pictures. online. Thank you for welcoming me into your culture today. Thanks for having you. <laughs> No. Bye! Bye!